should say engine oil on it. Most of them will have the exact type of oil you need, but if it's not there, you can always go in the manual and find it, it'll tell you. Some will have more than one option. It's important to look into what viscosity to use based on the climate you're in. So uh, we're changing the oil right before summer, so it's gonna be a hotter climate. Although the car only recommends 5W20, so we're not gonna have to worry about that. Either way, we're going to go ahead and just take off this oil cap here and then pick up from underneath where we're going to start draining the oil. Coming underneath the car, you'll see the entire under tray. There's going to be two cutouts, the first of which will be right here and will lead to a black canister like that, which will be your oil filter. And then farther down the back, you will be able to see the oil drain bolt itself. And that is what we're actually going to be taking out in this process. So the first component of which we'll be replacing is the oil filter. For the Jeep Patriot, we're gonna be using the Mobile One 113A. That is the specific oil filter which fits this, although there are other brands that'll fit. This is a pretty common oil filter. Alright, so to start we're going to break the actual bolt loose and just using a piece of cardboard under here since almost no oil is going to come out on the first break. Then once we have it loose, we're going to go ahead and pull the pan itself under and take the bolt the rest of the way out. Alright, now that that is broken loose, go ahead and bring this under here and back this off the rest of the way. So you're going to want to go ahead and clean off your drain bolt just so it seals properly. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this in your kitchen sink, but it's a rental. Oh dogs. Once you have this cleaned off, you should be good to just go ahead and reinstall it once you have everything else all cleaned up. So we're going to go ahead back out to the garage and finish up. Now that the oil has pretty much stopped coming out, we've only got a few drips left. We're going to go ahead and take the bolt and put it back in hand tight. Which is evidently easier said than done when you're feeling around in the dark. Alright, once you've got that pretty much hand tight, you're going to go ahead and have to rinse the oil off your hands so that way you can get a grip on the oil filter, but once you're there, we're just going to go ahead and pull the oil filter out. Alright, so before we're ready to fully take off the other oil filter and install the new one, we're just going to go ahead and stick our finger in our new oil here, and we're going to just go ahead and wet the edge on this section right here. This is just going to make the seal a little bit better and actually make it a lot easier to bring it back off when you're ready to take it out, because for the most part you want these to be hand tight rather than tool tight because then you need to go and buy a specially made tool to latch onto these individual grooves on the oil filter itself. As of right now, all we need is our hand, which is the way we're trying to keep it. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and remove the 
oil filter fully, separating this entirely from the rest of the car. You do want to be careful in this part because there will still be some oil in there that's going to be looking to come out. So you're going to want to be careful with that. And that's why I'm not going to be able to film this because I don't want to get the phone or the camera covered in oil. But essentially, you should be able to break it loose and then just unscrew it counterclockwise. Like I said, all your oil is filtered through this, so you may look like me at the end of this. So once you have the old oil filter off, you're just going to see a stem like this. So all you're going to need to do is turn it counterclockwise onto that stem and you should be good to go. After that, you're going to go ahead back over to this second hole back here and completely tighten in that bolt and then you're good to refill your oil. And you're just going to want to do this until all the way through. Unfortunately, we can't fully seat this funnel and I'm dripping a bit so I'm going to go ahead and pull back and restart. But this is a slow process because of the whatever way they decided to design this means you can't fully seat a funnel because there's a little stop. So unfortunately it's going to be a slow pour, but continue along the same way we're doing and once you're done with this go ahead and screw the cap all the way back in and let the car run for 30 seconds to a minute before you take it out to do anything and check for any leaks and if there are none then you're set. I'm just gonna put the right. cap back in. Fully tighten this down, and then you're gonna want to go ahead and grab some paper towel. Make sure your dipstick's fully seated, and then we're gonna wipe it and check again. Make sure that we have the right amount of oil in the car before we start it. And there you go. All right, so seat that all the way back down, then pull it all the way back out shine a light on it and as you can see we are pretty much perfectly on the money there so we are good to go for this we're just going to slide it back in and let it run for a minute right. just going to get back in the car and start it up for about 30 seconds let it run before you drive <laughs> 